This video will be discussing how to create different types of fields on EPS. EPS has numerous different types of fields, which include the production fields, the text fields, date fields, summary fields, and internal fields. All these fields can be set up on the project settings under the fields page. Production fields are numeric fields which store quantitative data such as tons, volume, length, or grades, cost, and revenue estimate for tasks. Most of these fields will come from Studio OP, but you can always create calculated production fields using the formula option. In this example, I will create a field called content in order to calculate the metal content of each task based on the task tonnage and grade. I will add a new field called content and under the formula option, I will define the formula as tonnage multiplied by the grade. I can define if this field is weighted or not, if I want to track actuals as I schedule, and many other options. This field will be available for reporting. Text fields are alphanumeric fields. The text fields can either be free form, that is, the value for each activity can be entered individually, or the value can be selected from a predefined list using the code fields. I will generate a new code field by clicking on the new code field icon and call this code field region. Under description, I will add region 1 with a blue color and region 2 with a green color. I am going to add the region code field on the task table and you can see that the default value is not defined. I can then change the values for each task from the predefined region list. Also, on the gun chart option, I can activate the color bars using region code and my blocks will be colored based on the region specified on the predefined list. I will now generate a text field for which the values can be entered individually or using a formula as well. I will create a new text field by clicking on the new text field icon and calling this field block name. I will now add the block name text field to the task table and manually edit the values as I wish. I will now define the values for each block name text field using a formula. The formula is set up to pick up the pushback name, the bench elevation, and the unique block number. You can now see that the block name values are calculated from the formula based on existing fields. The block name field is colored yellow to show that you cannot change this on the task table anymore since it is defined using a formula. Summary fields use a combination of filters and properties to generate pseudo fields that can be displayed in the crosstab area. In most cases, it is useful to report separately on the production fields of certain tasks in the crosstab view. For example, in open pit mining, it is common to have mining blocks containing tons and grades. However, only some blocks are treated as ore and sent to the plant, and the rest may be sent to the stockpile or dump. We can report this by creating two summary fields, one being the plant tons, for which the expression is tons of medium grade oxide that is sent to the plant, and two for the stockpile tons, for which the expression is tons of the medium grade oxide sent to the stockpile. These two can now be reported on the cross tab. Each summary field support either one expression or the ratio of two expressions, such as a strip ratio. This page allows you to add formulas for the EPS internal fields, which are duration and rates that will be used by those tasks where the task type is specifically set to calculated duration or calculated rate. For example, 
I can define the rate of the calculated rate tasks as follows. I need to provide a filter, the formula, and the time unit. The filter is trim blocks, the rate is 850, and the driving property is tons, while the unit is hour. For the production blocks, I will put 1,250 tons per hour. You can see the impact on the task table if I filter out the trim blocks and set the task type to the calculated rate. You will see the rate being 850 tons per hour.